loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria, the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. If we're meeting for the first time, welcome. For those of you guys that are old friends, supporters, subscribers to the YouTube channel and to my energy, man, it feels so good to have you back again in our presence. I say our presence because this is our space. And I love to be able to shuffle cards and connect with you and connect with our guides and see what's going on, see what messages they have for us, which is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be working with, I forget what tarot deck this is, but two of cups is at the bottom. So that pretty much shows you really the energy. I'm just going to be harmonizing together, working together. I want to invite you really quickly to ground yourself, to center yourself and to take three big deep breaths in at your own pace. That way we can connect with you and align with each other a little bit more deeper. The energy has been feeling a little anxious from what I've been sensing off the internet lately. The word that I heard just now is complex, conflicted. I'm getting a lot of energy going through my hands. Um, this is the guide's way of asking us to give good energy out into the world. Um, I just heard a lot is required of us. A lot is required of me, a lot of it's required from us right now. Sometimes we are very selfish in our needs, which of course we are. Every single one of us has specific wants and needs that need to be fulfilled. And sometimes we want to pull, 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 pull and extract from the world and extract from the universe and extract from the divine everything that our needs need, need at that moment in time. But right now, Spirit is saying to give good energy to give good energy, to give it back right now to the world. I'm hearing the words, be kind, be kind. Please be kind. There's something about giving to others. It's definitely giving me Six of Pentacles vibes. Something about giving to others is really ultimately you kind of giving to yourself. I know that that sounds cliche, but it's true. It's reminding you of how compassionate and kind and gracious you are that's the nature. That is your true nature. Some of you guys feel like the world is is wrapped up in other things and you feel isolated, you feel alone, you're fighting a, a battle, you feel empty. Spirit doesn't want you to feel that way anymore. And whether you know it or not, whether you recognize it or not, whether you have developed these gifts or not, you can give good energy out into this world and to others right now. And you doing that allows that energy to come back to you tenfold. Spirit, speak to us. Okay, we have a few cards that just jumped out. Yes. So, first things first, we have Nine of Cups, Page of Swords, and also the Star card. I'm going to start off with the Page of Swords and the Nine of Cups. As I'm sitting with this... I'm hearing and I'm getting, I feel very emotional. This feels very trauma child energy. It's a memory. What you are hearing and what you are seeing in the external world that's been kind of hurting you, punished, feeling like information that it is that you're getting, these bits and pieces of information that it is that you're getting, that you're seeing. Spirit says that it's off. It doesn't feel like it's aligned. It feels like it's missed. It's like reading a book. This is crazy. The, the What they're showing me is someone trying to read a book and the book is upside down. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize she's actually reading a book. I'm just seeing past this right now. Um, and as I'm saying it, the, the page of swords is actually upside down. 
basically what this is saying is that what you are seeing, especially when it comes to social media, when it comes to the internet, when it comes to the world, news, information sharing, public, what is out there, what is away from you, what you've, it, it, it's not accurate. It doesn't feel accurate. It's a conspiracy is what is the word that's coming through. And when spirit says it's a, it's a conspiracy, it means that it's what you think that it is. It's what you think, it's how things want to portray themselves to be. It's not an accurate reflection of what the truth is. And I just heard the truth will actually set you free because it will give to you an actual truth that will free your soul and spirit to understand that how you are perceiving things right now is what they is not what they actually are. If you're looking at social media, especially with the star card, it feels very distant. It feels very separate. It feels very away. It feels like there's this void. There's this huge um, abyss. There's this huge canyon and of, of what's between me and that or me and they or me and them. There's so much space. There's so much distance. It feels like wishful thinking, hopeful, hopeful. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. I'm also hearing something that you are in awe of, something that captures your eyes first in your heart. It resonates. The reason why it's so, you're so powerfully enamored by it is because you sense that something is there for you that is very similar or better than what originally caught your eyes. It's glittering, it's hopeful. And something lately feels like you are being neglected. There is a truth, information, or constant um, negative reinforcement is what it is that I'm hearing. So every time when you, every time when it comes to this wish, every time when it comes to this thing that you want to see to fruition, this wish for the world, this wish for yourself, this wish for your family, this wish for your future, you feel like whenever you wish there's a negative reinforcement, something bad is given to you in return instead of the actual wish and it's re really it's a conspiracy the world the world is saying wow um the world says everything is conspiring in your favor the world it's what the world is saying to you the world the um the divine says and spirit says i am not the world i created the world you are not the world but you are in the world. So don't listen to these facts. They're not facts, they don't know. Even the most informed person would understand that they don't know everything. So if we know that about them, why would we believe or take their word as truth when they don't know the truth themselves? The truth will actually set you free. There's so much more to this experience. There's so much more for you. There's so much more for your life that you have not seen yet. Believe it. I'm hearing spirit say, believe it and it it will be true. Believe it and will, it will come to life. Be, believe it and it will be reborn. <sighs> There's these dark shadows around everyone these days. And I've been very hesitant to talk about them. I've only spoke to them, spoke about it to my close friends. And a lot, I have not spoken to all of my close friends about this. There's this dark shadowy energy lately and this is the world that we're in right now, parts of the world that we're in right now. If it wasn't for this dark shadow, there wouldn't be this opportunity and this invitation for light and healing to come in. This is the truth. And there's for for there's this message lately that says um spirit is saying you know, these dark shadow truths about yourself, these fears, these insecurities, it's interesting because they are going to actually lead you, but don't allow them to lead you astray. This means that they are leading you to your heart's truth. They are leading you to observe what you need. They're leading you to observe what it is valuable to you, what is significant to you, but do not lead them astray. Do not allow them to lead you astray, which means that if you allow these insecurities and this dark aspect within yourself to convince you of something that you are not, to convince you that something is what it is not, you will fall, you will crash, you will crumble, and that is not the truth. The truth itself would set you free. 
how do you accept the truth that is that is a message right there how do you accept the truth the truth comes to you when you surrender to the flow of the divine when you surrender to the flow of what the divine created this universe this means that we are ebbing and flowing and being flexible and open to all of it and we're not questioning we are not attacking it we are not forcing we are accepting it for what it is seven of pentacles is here and this card is reversed Seven of Pentacles is the card of observation, of attempting to see in, in order to better understand what you need to do next. And Spirit is saying, what if I told you that you have done enough and what if right now we just want you to be soft? We want you to be soft as you're moving forward. We want you to be led forward, not to be led astray. What if I told you that that is what is next? What if I told you that that is going to be a part of your liberation? What if I told you that this is going to be a part of your healing? Some of you guys are so tired of the word healing because you've been on this journey for a long time and you need to be promised a reward. The reward is there. That, I, as I said, the word reward, I'm being reminded of the truth. The truth is the treasure. The truth is the treasure that you are seeking, the treasure that you are manifesting, the treasure that has materialized, that is waiting for you to find it, is something of a higher value than what the world has told you what is valuable for you. Don't allow yourself to be led astray. As I was sitting here just now, I was thinking in my in my head, what do you need us to hear? <laughs> what is the energy? What is the energy reading for this week? I have two of cups reversed for those of you guys that need to see it. Um, Knight of Wands reversed. We have whoops. We have page of whoops. <laughs> We have Page of Cups, and we also have Ten of Wands reversed. Knight of Wands clearly wants to stand out. I'm hearing the word escapism. Some of you guys don't want to hear this message, and that's totally fine. I'm here to deliver the message, okay? Don't shoot the messenger, okay? Virgo vibes here. Some of you got whoa, some of you guys are using spirituality as a as a crutch, as a shield. What does that mean? That means that you see see the world or trying to see the world through this lens of spirituality and it's almost turning it's like turning a good thing into a bad thing it kind of flips it turns into a better than thou type of situation which means like i i don't drink anymore i don't do this i don't blah 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 i don't partake i don't hang out with them i'm spiritual now i'm evolved i go to yoga i drink smoothies i can tolerate green drinks green juice i don't smoke cigarettes i've quit i work out and now i am on this personal journey for my self help and for my self growth and these people around me that i have moved on that i've transitioned away from that i trans i'm focusing on my transformation i don't yeah, I've dismissed them, I dismissed it, and I am better than them because I'm actually trying. And Spirit is saying, what gives? Like, who, it's almost like a who do you think you are type of energy. That's a very specific message for somebody. Everybody is on their own journey. Everybody has their own path. You yourself have your own path. Everybody's journey is just as significant as the other, regardless of what it looks like to you, regardless of if they're if you think they're trying or not, or if you're trying. And this page of cups showing up right now is the card of compassion and giving good energy to that. And this is going to take a long haul, a long look in the mirror for some people. 
because you trying to do better for yourself is has actually turned into a weapon for you to try to feel better about yourself because you don't feel good about yourself. And I understand some of you guys are going to click out and that is totally fine. Like, I am not a type of person to come on here and do, you know, silly readings and turn spirituality into the Chick-fil-A or the Starbucks. We're just never going to do that. Forgive me for being blunt, forward, or offensive. I'm speaking my truth. And um, some people want to hear certain things and Spirit is, is here to deliver a message and I'm going to deliver that. That is what's coming through. Ten of Wands is the when this how this shows up reversed. It feels like a a disrespect, like you're disrespecting the path and the progression of people around you, and that's where there's becoming a disconnect. That's where there's a big disconnect because everybody needs to be honored right now. Everybody needs to be poured into, and there's something about giving good energy out into the world is what you will get back in return, but you won't get that if you're judging, if you're harsh, if you are have this expectation of what this person should be doing or how they should be treating you or where they should be showing up. This is not romantic, platonic, or family, or friends, or whatever. It's anything that they is. Does that make sense? It's anything the other. And the reward is in loosening up your expectation and pouring, giving to them good energy. Someone really needed to hear that message. All right, let's move on to the next message. So let's, let's talk about love. Um, it feels like something is away. I'm hearing cold, like distant, far. Um, Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Both of these cards are reversed. Page of Wands and Wheel of Fortune reversed. I'm going to sit with this for a second. Spirit, what are you trying to say here? I just heard, um, you've been here before. You've seen this before. Uh, this is energy within yourself. This is not, this is very self-observant, especially with the Eight of Swords here. I don't think my camera is focusing. I've dropped it one too many times. My incense is really gravitating towards me today. Um, Eight of Swords reversed here. And this energy feels very reflective. It feels, I heard the word performative. Performative. This means that spirit is wanting you to have authentic growth. I heard the word tribulation. And we're going to Google that. Um, tribulation. Yeah. A cause of great trouble or suffering. There, which makes so much sense. Eight of Swords reversed. And Five of Pentacles reversed. There's something that you've seen before. This feels like a repetitive pattern. That you're having difficulty moving away from or out of. It feels like even in the midst of an awesome blessing and you know that something is a gift, there's like two messages here. Like it feels like when things are good and it's a gift, you know that it's a blessing and it feels awesome, but there, it, there's something about you that plagues you. There's something about you that creates great suffering within you, like internal suffering inside of your head. You, you know and you realize, I've been here before, I've done this before, I've felt this before, and I'm feeling it again. It's like this cycle. The other thing is you might have something very promising and then it feels like we're right back to square one again. 
it's this lesson or repeating offense that just can't you can't move forward from it's stealing your light it's stealing your health it's stealing your peace of mind it's stealing your internal strength in fact it's the one thing that is your kryptonite I heard the word these times when you're starting to see this and it's uh, first you want to self-soothe before you react you want to self-soothe before you react um, the strength card is here reversed um, and I'm also noticing the infinity sign the tattoo the infinity tattoo on her arm and this is showing me it just feels like uh, here it's just infinite like this infinite loop it feels very infinite how do we break this there's this need to break this right now king of cups reversed empress upright four of pentacles reversed i heard you are needing to be proved you need to have it proved to you that what you experience is not like it's not the truth meaning like you believe that this experience like it just is a, a plague like it's always gonna every six months every three months every year every one year and three months I'm going to be back here. That is a perception. That is a truth. That's what you are seeing. That's what you're feeling. That's what you're experiencing. You want to be broken free from the hold of that belief. And you have that belief for a reason because it is it is true. It has been true for you. It has been true for your experiences. It almost feels very generational cursey. Spirit is saying one of the things that you can do is spell work, prayer, energy cleansing bath baths for some of you guys when was the last time you did an energy cleanse of your of your physical body and your spiritual body some of you guys really need to get some tub time or some water time or um salt water like an epsom salt spray like an energy spray i have them in my shop if you need them I heard the word recounting like recounting yeah star card there's this need to kind of break there's something else in this deck that needs to come out right now I can just feel it three of swords I heard this cycle feels unending like you gotta free me from this just like this is someone saying that, like, you've got to free me from this. I am trying to move forward. I cannot do this by myself. If you knew how much I've been trying, if you knew how much I've been holding on, you you wouldn't. You, you don't get it. You don't get it. I need to be broken free from this. I need to... There's a wood. There's a wood. Sandalwood. Burn sandalwood. Sandalwood is a very... <sighs> something about sandalwood and cedar wood um some of you guys the sandalwood you want to look at the origin it's like your ancestry goes back to the origin of sandalwood or the hometown of sandalwood the story behind the sandalwood if you feel called to look that up and check that out, by all means. And for others of you, cedar wood, the symbolism behind it. So whichever one you're gravitating towards, whichever one feels like an ancestral connection to you, is what I either see you bringing to your altar or what you're carrying on your body or both. Something has to be ended here let's sacrifice something has to which actually makes sense something has to be given in order for something to be gained and this feels very much like spell work a prayer a ritual um a retreat some of you guys i'm seeing a retreat sometimes what you have to give is actually a sacrifice of your time your energy something that is that you uh wouldn't normally allow meaning you some of you guys are so accustomed to showing up in one way 
or a way and you just won't allow this to happen you won't allow yourself to take a break all something like that and we have five of swords here it's very self-punishing self-defeating self-destructing and you actually really want freedom from this this plague king of pentacles Um, King of Pentacles just said, I told you so. <laughs> this is someone that you've heard from that you, it doesn't feel like a family member. It feels like someone's wisdom from years ago who told you a story or told you something that was there for your betterment and you didn't listen. It feels like a teacher, a professor who was looking out for you. Knight of Swords, it was information. They believed in you, but they were patient with you. That's a very specific message for someone. They always kind of, they didn't tell you what you should do. They kind of didn't give you hints, but they always kind of give it, give you an offer, an invitation. And for whatever reason, your own insecurity, your own doubt, you kind of said no. And now it's not like a cold, I told you so. It's more like, I told you so then, and I still, even if I'm no longer here or I'm present now, in your life my memory lives on it lingers and it still shows up to say give yourself a chance now I heard reconcile like reconcile for your past reconcile for what was lost reconcile from what I gave to you then but you did you didn't want to pick it up you weren't ready then four of wands this is a cause for celebration I heard ring the alarms tell people tell the spiritual world Tell them, tell them that they're ready. Tell them that you are here. Tell them that you are going to try now. Tell them that you're going to put for, forth your best effort. Okay, Spirit's like, put these cards away and let's talk about that. Um, when it comes to breaking curses and energies, um, like energetic cycles that feel very punishing for you, I have bath soaks and stuff like that herbs and candles oils in my shop for you let's make sure this is focused and if not guys um if it's not focusing if you're watching on youtube or if you're streaming on the podcast just go ahead and listen with your ears and see with your third eye what do you need spirit there's something specifically that that is that you wanted to tell us and speak to us this week I heard uh, can do no wrong. It's mocking. So and so can never do no wrong. So and so can't do any wrong. Um, I heard repeating like a repeating pattern, like siblings, like sibling rivaling. So and so can do no wrong. Blah 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 blah. I don't know why that's coming through. There's this like mocking, like this mocking spirit is like, stop doing that. Stop. That's not the truth. Stop that. But so and so, la, 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 she, they, him, her, they have their own battles. If you don't know, spirit, like the guides are kind of agitated. They're like, you don't know what they're going through. She comes to me. He comes to me. I watch them. I know their truth. Don't worry about what they're doing. Pray for them. Give them good energy. It's not what it seems. They're not happy either. Like, what do you want? You want them to be unhappy? It's like, I'm sorry, I'm just... No. There's this agitation here. There's big time agitation. What's going on? I just heard, what do you want? Like, and Spirit's like, serious question. What exactly do you want? I came here to hear you. I literally just heard that specifically. I came here to hear you. You are listening to this video right now because I came here to hear what you actually want because that will be delivered. What do you actually want? Five of Cups. This card comes with a lot. This, that, this is a whole other video. 
I just heard, I don't want to be like the others. This feels like strings of failures. People who didn't get it right. People where everything went wrong. What do you want? Talk to us about it. You have your back to your guides. You have your back to spirit. You have your back to your ancestors. You have your back to your angels. Turn around and talk to us. Eight of Cups reversed. I'm getting, I feel very, very emotional right now. I just heard, it, was, it wasn't even like a loud scream of don't leave me, it was a quiet one. Ten of Pentacles. That has to do with family. Three of Wands, watching. That's really tough. Yeah. The Hierophant and the Knight are here. There's this message of newness comes from awareness. Newness comes from awareness. In order to have something different, you have to be aware that you want something different. And you have to be aware that when you are disappointed by things that happen, that things that occur, that things don't play out the way that you want them to, it's just making you aware that those energies are there, but that just because you're seeing that doesn't mean that what you want doesn't also exist. Some of you guys are stuck in the Nine of Swords and Sun card reversed type of energy. This is what Spirit is saying, overarching. And it's, I heard the word revolt, like revolt. Like you want to, there's a part of you that lashes out in order to protect yourself from the poison of what you've already experienced and you get so frustrated and disappointed and defeated that you reacted in this way because you were triggered by something that reminded you of what was and spirit is going to liberate you from this but first you need to be aware that this is a part of a need for you this is a part of the disorder this is a part of the disappointment this is a part of the suffering and that needs to be acknowledged along with all of the other pieces of the puzzle yeah we the very outcome of this reading is the magician card reversed and the devil card reversed the magician card normally feels very powerful and feels like they have everything that they need in order to manifest their desires but with the magician card here reversed and also the devil card reversed there's this need to kind of surrender and break free from and fall into your power you want to see yourself as a powerful being and then allow your power to be to evolve into something else because some of you guys are very powerful beings without a doubt but you it's not that you're manifesting but you're sensing the, the the part the whole the ache the dark the depth within you and you're like i said in the beginning of this reading you're allowing accidentally you are accidentally allowing your fear to lead you in the wrong direction we always have choices we always have choices and in order to make an informed choice we have to be 
we try to be aware we try to be informed we try to educate ourselves and then also having said that now look what we have here we have the page of swords and the world card reversed some of you guys are hesitant to reread certain chapters of your life because you don't want to relive them anymore but they will turn on certain light bulbs they will turn on certain truths that you will now accept and acknowledge and understand now that you've come this far and that is okay after you get off of this reading with me take some time for yourself we're going to need some time to process it you're going to need some time to give it to the earth give it to the candle okay get it out get it out <sighs> some of you guys are holding on to candles from my shop and waiting for the perfect opportunity this is a specific message for someone especially if you have a white candle or a black candle take the intention of what was already created over that candle and put your feelings that you're feeling right now into that candle and finally release it this is going to be a part of that karma that curse kind of breaking okay yeah don't look for others right now seven of swords reversed and two of cups there is a really strong desire for partnership and to heal partnership especially the, the the drastic difference differences between you and others when it comes to the most deep profound relationships in your life that's intimate that's family that those are friends that feel like family the aspects within yourself they are so drastically different there's a part of you that or part of them or part of it that is escaping or needs to escape that needs to be away it that is away for a reason it's it needs to be rewired internally look my loves you have eight of swords and ace of swords don't run and hide away from your anxiety the tension the conflict the confusion the chaos in fact look at it that's beautiful some of you guys are very very quick to in the future this is a strong warning be very careful not to lose sight of yourself, not to lose sight of what you want, and not to give up. Um, like you're surrendering it, you're relinquishing it by partying, by drinking, by doing dumb shit, by distractions, by playing video games, by... It's like too much of a good thing turns into a bad thing, whatever that is. It could be too much eating cake eating bad food, maybe something that you used to like, now you're using fitness or working out in order to punish yourself. Be very careful about what was good turning into a bad thing and you're only, you're dropping your attention and your energy and your time into that because you are no, you're not wanting to seek inside. You don't want to look inside. You have a lot of noise and a lot of in information that spirit is downloading into you truth through your feelings that you are going to want to sort out through your journal through prophetic visioning through going through walks through the quiet through the, the emotional releases from the putting your wishes and hopes out there seven of cups says that there's a few things that it is that you want and you have to feel each one of those things in order for you to know what you really really want Okay, you don't have to just get it right the first time. Look, we have five of swords here reversed and the king of cups upright. This is cutting through the noise, the bullshit, the chaos, the distraction of things that we do for ourselves. I'm also seeing you guys giving out into the world in order for you to get in return. It feels very Reiki. Give good energy out there, you guys. Mm, emperor. This feels very structured, it feels very stabilized, it feels very safe, it feels like a promise, it feels like the future, it feels like a venture, it feels like adventure, something new, something strong, something calculated, something wise, something life-giving, something um, prosperous, abundant, stable handsome sufficient proficient mature yeah king of swords reversed and the strength card reversed this is where it is that you're coming from now again it's this 
you're you're wanting to be broken free from the truth of this is always going to be the outcome this is always going to be the way of being this is always going to be what i know it to be and the truth is, is that you're sitting in the dark and you're just looking through the lens of the dark eye the dark third eye that's what i'm going to call it it's the third eye that sees and senses the shadow but there's the polar opposite there's seeing through the light you know so we also have eight of pentacles upright and seven of wands reversed don't abandon what you've created don't abandon what you helped to build. Don't abandon what you are building. You have come this far. Do not back down now. Do not self-destroy it. Do not self-defeat. Do not take your warrior energy and use it to hurt yourself right now. Pause, reflect, observe, and choose what is right for you. Yep, two of wands reversed in the past and nine of wands upright. Very guarded person, but there's a breakening through that's coming through. Let's talk. Let's talk. The future. Woo. Wow. Freedom. That's exactly that's exactly it. You're being broken free from the struggle. Wow. Letting go. Let it go choose to let it go today free yourself free yourself it's not an external thing it's an internal thing but you're holding on to the external because the internal is aching purity be made pure again cleanse yourself sage yourself start again be fresh be renewed it's okay this is not going to be just today this is going to be an act of God that you choose to give yourself every single day when you rise up. Expansion, that's when you're going to see the growth. You will see the growth. The growth has already occurred. The growth happened during this time while we've been sitting here together. Leadership, and you're going to lead yourself into this new future, this promising future, this gift for the future. It's beautiful. And also, leadership is someone who fights for you as well, especially with the stag here. It's very emperor energy that's what's coming into your future right now be proud of yourself you've earned this and you do deserve this thank you guys so much for tuning in to this message for this week i hope that it resonated with you i hope it spoke life into you if you need me you can find me at bahadilife.com Ooh, flexibility you can find me at bahadilife.com or you can send me a message at info at bahadilife and i'll be more than happy to help you me or my assistant we're both here for you until then i will see you guys in my next video bye you were created to live a life of magic abundance love and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.